ako struggling think of my life let me get me strong on for hello everyone come on in come on in Thursday let me turn this down all right all right everyone so sorry to keep you all well waiting welcome come on in everyone how is everyone doing tonight happy Thursday thank you so much for being here um let me get Miss Strong up on the board because we have a stream sponsor coming in hot already y'all know that stream sponsors come to the front of the class so thank you so much uh, Miss Strong says on my way to meet with clients but wanted to wish you congrats on 7k y'all can you believe it we are growing so fast class and in all seriousness y'all know I had a, a little mini viral moment so that's what's going on but I appreciate that she says you are my inspiration uh, to that cooking food and being positive will result in growth wishing you all the best thank you for the hearts can I do it like AV y'all um <laughs> thank you thank you thank you for the 9.99 we're gonna get Miss Strong up on the Struggle Stream micro board, as you all see it here. Uh, stream sponsors come to the front of the class. I appreciate you all being here. And when I, I mean it when I say, when you watch, when you like, when you subscribe, when you comment, uh, when you're in the live chat, all of that you can do for free. And it helps the channel to grow. Clearly we are growing. Um, I'm just so grateful. But when you go above and beyond like this, like I say, I didn't find $10 in your laundry today, so I will take it. I appreciate it. The stream sponsor is the person who gives the biggest super chat, cash app, PayPal, Venmo, Facebook stars, Instagram gifts, buy me a coffee. We're about to say gold doubloons. Hello, Law from Ghana. Yes, welcome on in. We're going to take roll in a second. And I'll tell you all, I'm very excited. Yes, I'm very excited about the YouTube numbers, but almost more excited about Instagram because uh, I think at 10K, people can send badges during the live streams. I'm learning. But anyway, let's get Ms. Strong up on the board. You all, please check her out. She's also a content creator. I was in her chat earlier today. She cooks. She chats. She's a personal trainer. You can see she's on a fitness journey. I appreciate it so, so much. All right, so let me get you up on the board. With the uh, $9.99. All right. I lovingly call her Miss Strong. You all can check out her channel and please, please support. If you have a YouTube channel, always come through and shout yourself out. All right, so let's take attendance here. I'll make my way around. Hello, uh, love yourself. Hello on TikTok. Thank you so much for being here. TikTok is different because it pops up and then it goes away. Who do we have on IG? We have David. We have Laws the Future, Awoni, Miguel. Thank you for the congrats. We have Ali, Awoni again. Who else is in here? Mr. Nick Nice, the Badger. Um, Miguel says no sound. Can y'all let me know on Instagram that you can hear me? I wasn't talking until just a little bit ago. Um, David the Donk, David again, Miguel and Ty. Thank you all so much for coming through. I appreciate you. If you wanna see the screen share, if you wanna see my counter, you can uh, come over to Facebook or YouTube. I am Maggie, the substitute teacher. Okay, y'all can hear, thank you. All right, so who do we have over here? Let's start at the top. Thank you all so much. We got Stella in the house. Stella says, hello, Miss Maggie. Hello, sweetheart. Thank you. Geneva, Geneva Madison. She says, hello, congrats on your 7K. I'm so grateful. Thank you. I appreciate it. Y'all, we just had like 6,000 two days ago. And two days before that, we had 5,000. So I'm clearly trending. <laughs> So if it'll help you to tag me, as long as it's wholesome and family friendly, please do. Hello, Yvonne. Whitney says, hello, class. Hello, my dear. Y'all know I'm old. We have Miss Strong, our stream sponsor. Thank you so much. 
for the $9.99. Is that hard to read or is it just me? We have Mallory. Mallory says, hello, congratulations on 7,000. Thank you. I have 7,000 uh, subscribers on Facebook and on Instagram. So we are growing class. I am so excited. Uh, Y'all are just saying hello to each other. We have Joe Ethereal coming in with the salute. Salute right back to you, sir. Veggie Veggie coming in saying, hey, Maggie, and greetings to all. Veggie Veggie, one of my day one scholars. Y'all have been here, and y'all know we have come a mighty long way. We have Shaping. Hello, beautiful people. Hello, sweetheart. Ah, uh, yes, we have Kia G coming in saying, hello, Maggie in class. I hope you all are well. I'm feeling pretty good today. I'm always happy to cook for you all. Whitney says, hey, Maggie girl. Hello, Whitney girl. Girl, how's the husband? How are the boys? Y'all give me the family updates. Tasha coming in. Good evening with the Purple Hearts. Thank you so much. The Notorious Kevin Brooks says, hello, Maggie and scholars. I'm driving and listening in. You all please check out the Notorious Kevin Brooks. He also has a YouTube channel. Very funny. Intentionally funny. I don't think I'm funny. I end up being funny, but I don't intend to be funny. But he's got a uh, YouTube channel um, with shorts. So please take a look and support if you like what he's got going on. Geneva says, I seem tired. I know, y'all. Am I getting rest? No. Um, this actually is my happy place. But yeah, y'all, I work from home. I don't really leave the house for much, but I had to go into the city for an appointment and just. I'm spoiled now. Like I used to have that long commute and that just used to be my every day. But now I get outside and I'm like, who are all these people? And why are they here? Don't they know I have somewhere to go? And so you have a 3.30 appointment and that's why we're late today. Um, and it's just the traffic and sitting in bumper to bumper. So I got out and I was like, oh. But I always stream for you all. When I'm in the kitchen, I cook for you. And um, even if I've already eaten, we'll do a little snack like this because you all bring me so much joy. Hello, Ms. Sheck. Um, but, but yeah, I'll sit down after that. Y'all notice everything. So thank you for the, the good wishes. We had Jurgen coming through from Germany with a good morning. I know it's late over there, but you got a plate around you somewhere. Bonnie coming in. Bonnie says, hello, Maggie. Hello, Bonnie Young. Kia says, I remember... <laughs> Oh my gosh, where are my Nana fans? Y'all know her and you love her. My mom, someone made a comment and um, I'm trying to get to all of the comments and thank everybody because I really appreciate it. It's the least I can do. But y'all know my family, you have seen them all. Mama, mama, Nana is a rock star on her own. She is mama, she's my mom. But uh, someone said instead of uh, keeping up with the other K's. I don't want to say anybody's name. We should do keeping up with Maggie and Nana. <laughs> she puts me in my place. But Kia says, I remember when Nana was waiting to be the 1000th subscriber. I used to watch from the bushes. Ah, oh, come on in. The water's fine. Ah, oh, Meshek, you're from down under. I loved Australia. Oh, I had such a good time there. I stayed with the family in Sydney. Oh, it was incredible. I left a piece of my heart in, in, in Australia, the harbor. Oh, it was beautiful. Opera house, all of that. Focus, Maggie. Um, congratulations on the 7K. Thank you for the hand claps. Thank you for the dancing. Hello, Black Hawk. Um, yes. So for anyone who's um, new here, we celebrate milestones. My YouTube channel is only a year old. And the biggest milestone really is to get 1,000 subscribers because that allows you to be eligible for monetization. If you want to know all about it, it's in my course. You can preview it for free. Link is in the description. But um, my mom and y'all know my parents and my family, very traditional. I have to work for everything. And when I started my channel, the boys said, you? People want to watch you make our dinner? Right. Hello, Blush and Bashley. Um, and my mom says she would subscribe, but she wanted to be the 1,000th subscriber. So I had to get all the way to 999. And then my mom supported my channel. You would never know because when she comes through and it's Nana's kitchen, y'all already know how the family is. But uh, I love them dearly. So yes, I think I have a clip of that somewhere. I need to repost it. We got a lot of new people so y'all can see. Ah, Rihanna says, get to the snacks. Hey, y'all, love some guac. Yeah, I got some, um, 
what is this, some avocado in the giveaway box. If you all don't know about my giveaway box stories, I can tell that too. But I saw a three ingredient guacamole recipe. So we are gonna make a simple guacamole today. And I'm gonna show you all how to make some low carb tortilla chips in the air fryer. So if you like the snackles, today will be a good day uh, for you. Tiffany says, congrats to your growing social media accounts. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. I appreciate you all. This is a, um, a hobby that's turning into a passion project, which hopefully, since I'm old, I'll be 48 around Thanksgiving, um, it'd be nice if this were my exit strategy. You know, I still work full time and I think I should as long as the boys are minor children, um, but they're at their dad's. They'll be here this weekend, so I'll be cooking lots of man food for the boys this weekend. So if you're interested in that, you can tune in. And tomorrow and Friday, we are doing our trucker series sponsored by, uh, I don't know which name she wants to use, but stay tuned for that. Oh, there she is, All About the Max. All About the Max is sponsoring our trucker series tomorrow and Friday. I'm so excited. So I've been doing some research and we'll do one day of uh, no cook meals and one day of cook meals. Whitney says the family is awesome. You're making your four-year-old mac and cheese for dinner. Yes, absolutely. Who doesn't love mac and cheese? Thank you. All About the Max says congratulations, Maggie. Notorious Kevin Brooks says thanks, Maggie. You are uber funny. Am I funny? I have my moments. Ah, oh, Miss Strong wants to visit Australia. I'm telling y'all, there are some places in the world that are like every other place. You know, when you travel and you go to large cities and it's like, this looks like every other, you know, city. Oh my gosh. I am um, a little story time. I digress. Um, Wilbert says Maggie's, me and my story times, right? So I work in technology. And um, I have a lot of friends from India. And so, uh, you know, working for a tech company, we have a large, well, I've, over the years, I've met people from India. And a friend of mine who lives in Australia, but um, is of Indian descent, she was having a big, like, Bollywood style wedding for her daughter, and she invited me. <sighs> it was like a dream of mine to go. Oh my goodness, I got this flash sale, like round trip, four or five or $600 to Sydney and back, but I had to stay 10 days. And, you know, mother of the bride was like, okay, we can do the wedding day and lunch one other day, but she's hosting. She's the mother of the bride. She's got all this stuff going on. She can't, you know, see about me. So it was my first time staying at an Airbnb because I was like, well, I don't want to pay for a hotel for 10 days. That's a lot. And Rod, uh, Robin and Roger took great care of me. They actually encouraged me to be a host. Y'all met Sean virtually yesterday. Hello, El Hardy. Um, so I had a lot of free time, kind of like when I went to London. I had some planned stuff, and then I had a lot of time to sightsee. I talked to the Aboriginal people. I went to see the Blue Mountains. Is it the Blue Mountains? The Three Sisters toured Sydney Opera House, took a ferry, just, oh. If you like my travel documentaries, I'm going to Greece this summer and I'll be streaming for you while I'm there so you all can see. Uh, Kevin says 7K Maggie, congrats again. Thank you, Tasha is dancing. I'm ready for the dance moves. I love it. Jurgen says I'm up to 7,210 people. Y'all, we're getting like, like 500 a day. I'm so grateful. Live Love Pray says, congrats, Miss Maggie. Thank you, my dear. I can't wait for the trucker series. Yes, tomorrow and Friday. Rihanna says, is it bad etiquette to abbreviate your words like guac? I don't think so, but here's something I learned. So I used to keep all this stuff separate, but y'all, it's just who I am. So you're going to get a little bit of cooking. You're going to get a little bit of etiquette. You're going to get a little bit of relationship. If it gets to be too much, let me know. Hello, vigilante. Um, so I have been on my own elegant etiquette journey for my own personal reasons. And, you know, I'm a boy mom and I work in corporate and it can be masculine and I'm very intentional about maintaining my softness. So I've taken several courses. I meet with my etiquette teacher once a month. I have all these assignments and um, I've taken uh, so many different modules and just wrapped up in international etiquette. 
course. And I love that one because you learn about the different customs in different regions and what's appropriate when you visit and how you greet people. And if you're going to a house party and what are acceptable gifts. And I have told you all, I can nerd out on that stuff. That's just me. If you want more of it, join my Patreon. There's a $1 and a $5 level. However, I digress. But what I learned today in Australia, they have uh, nicknames, well not nicknames, but abbreviations for a lot of um, terms that are local to them. So for example, you all can let me know, uh, hello Pound Pounder Charles, uh, like women are called like Sheila's and um, like, I don't wanna say slang, but you know what I mean. And it's actually poor etiquette if you are not of the culture to use their slang. So if you're visiting, use the proper term, don't try to copy or mimic anyone else's um, local language. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I love that stuff. If you're interested in my etiquette stuff, twice a month, uh, I'll do streams on that so you can learn more, all right? Hannah's Heart says, congratulations, Maggie. You will be at 10K in no time. I hope so. I really wanna get to 10K on Instagram. I'm not trying to be funny. If y'all wanna know why, I'll tell you. Uh, hello, Henrietta. A little shop talk tonight. So for anyone who doesn't have a YouTube channel or doesn't care, give me 60 seconds. On YouTube, when you get monetized, there's one threshold that you have to meet. All of that is in my course. So it's 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch hours, all of that. And when you meet those requirements, they turn on all of the monetization. So you all see the super chats like we have from Miss Strong, um, super thanks, advertisements, all that stuff. However, Instagram and Facebook are different. They reveal the monetization uh, in tiers. So depending on the size of your audience, you are eligible for different monetization. And I believe I can get badges on Instagram once I hit 10K. So if anybody's watching on IG, if you like my content and you think someone else would, please share. And uh, if they like me too, they'll subscribe. She says, so glad so many are catching the Maggie train. Maggie train. All right. Choo choo. And seeing how dope the good word uh, you are. There's no substitute for you. That's so cute. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate that so much. Mallory says, yay, story time. Y'all love story time. I feel like I can go on and on. Sometimes I'm like, okay, focus on the snacks, Maggie. But I'm like, I got stories to tell. I've been through some things. So yes, let me know what else y'all want to hear. Sounds like I had super fun, y'all. Let me see if I can show you. My friend, the mother of the bride, bride, her name's Aisha. She had a sari made for me. When I tell y'all, you can, you can tell me nothing. I was queen for a day, Indian queen for a day. Okay, not really. I had the bracelets. I had the sari. I had... Um, it was probably, when I tell you, like beauty, like splendor, like you've never seen. And just, I love all cultures. I just, that's why I like to travel. But um, it was incredible. It was one of the best experiences of my life. Went to the Taranga Zoo. And y'all know I don't like animals, so that's a big thing for me. Hello, uh, Achibaz. But it's just important because... Um, Oh, let me show y'all because you get to experience other cultures. All right. So this is the sari she had made for me. I don't know if you can see all the um, design on there. I'm going to see if I can find the picture of me wearing it. Oh my gosh. It was beautiful. And I've done, um, let's see. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> come a long way. And it's not the picture that I wanted to, but yeah, you can see I had the bracelets and everything. I'll see if I can find a better picture. This one I didn't, you know, it's a lot of fabric to get it on you properly. I've come a long way y'all, but yeah, it was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. Okay. So lots of story time. Oh, OMG. It's beautiful. Hey, Chelsea. Chelsea came in here. Y'all, I'm just chatting. Ah, live, love, clan, pray says, I think etiquette class should be mandatory for both genders in high school. 
I don't disagree. As a boy mom, I have seen them hold their plates and literally put it at their chin and scrape the food in like, are you homeless? Were you raised by wolves? Who does that? Yeah, it was beautiful, y'all. Just, oh my gosh, Victoria, you're here. We're gonna use your cutting board. We use it every day. Y'all please check out Victoria, also has a YouTube channel. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you all. So if you wanna be counted present, please shout yourself out. If you prefer to watch from the clouds, you are most welcome here. As always, we are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube. Okay, so today's recipe is a three-ingredient guacamole, um, avocado, onion, and lime juice, all right? So these are the three ingredients. It's a really simple one. You all know the first time I make it, um, I use, I do their recipe exactly. And then after that, you can add whatever you want to, cilantro, salsa, jalapeno. So um, that's what we are going to make today. And then I'm gonna show you how to make some tortilla chips. All right, low carb. Yeah, boys, I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I've been through some things. Yes, are you homeless? I'm like, who does that? Were you raised by wolves? Or if they're with Nana, and they're acting a monkey like that. She says, are you a Bushman? Exactly. Uh, Mike says, after watching some of her videos, wow, the world needs more of her. Me? I'm here. I stream every day. Ah, oh, thank you so much for the compliment, Mike. Oh, thank you. And Marie Marie is listening in. All right, you guys. So I'm going to play the video and I'm going to get my apron on. We're going to get started. We're going to get Victoria's cutting board. This is a low carb love recipe. So I'm going to pull up the video. And um, we'll watch it together and we'll do everything step by step. So sit back, relax, and uh, let's make some, I almost said chips and salsa, but that's not what I meant. We're gonna make some chips and guac. All right, easy guacamole. So I did put the link in the description. So if you all wanna see it, look, I was watching Terry today. Easy guacamole, that's the one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Meyer from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a super simple and basic guac, so a guacamole. Um, I'm gonna show you a very basic version of it, and then you can add other things to it, like tomatoes, cilantro, other things like that. But I'm actually gonna use this guac for a recipe, so I just want to, um, I just wanted to show you guys how simple it is. Um, okay. So again, you all can see here, and she's already dicing up. She's got some onion. I think that's her jalapeno. She's using fresh jalapeno. I don't have fresh jalapeno. I do have the one in the jar. I don't mind to add a little heat to it. Got my uniform on. If you all want, I'll add some jalapeno to it. But let's see what she does. And if you heard her, oh, first of all, where are my manners? Chelsea, thank you, my dear. Thank you for the $1.49, y'all. I appreciate everything. I don't take it for granted. I don't expect any of this. So thank you. You don't even have to be here, let alone contribute. So I appreciate it. Hello, Jay. Thank you for being here. Whitney says, I love me some guac. All right, so my people are here. Mike says, he's raising his hand. How cute. What time is the streaming done daily? Well, I wish I could tell you I had a strict schedule. I do stream every day, usually Monday through Friday, it's dinner time. So since I'm East Coast, it's usually like five to seven. But because I was out in traffic today, I'm a little bit late, um, but I am here every day. I would encourage y'all, if you like what I'm doing, turn on, like subscribe and turn on your notifications and hopefully it lets you know. Um, I try to plan in advance, but I'm usually here every evening, early evening um, during the week. And then on the weekends, I try to go earlier in the day, sometimes breakfast, sometimes lunch. So hopefully that helps. Who do we have here? Aaron says, hi, Maggie, sharing you with my little audience right now. Awesome as always. Well, thank you, kind sir. I appreciate that. Everybody is welcome here. Hello, Don Tino. Okay, so let's continue and then we'll get our ingredients out. Y'all can see she's cutting up the uh, onion and jalapeno. To make a very basic one. So let's get started. So she's cutting our lime We're in half. We're going to get your avocado. You're just gonna cut it down the middle like so. Then, so you're just gonna get a spoon, go all the way around, like so, put that down, get the next one. Um, depending on how much you're making, then that's what you're going to um, 
that's how much lime and onion and anything else you're going to use. Okay. Stuff, okay. So we're going to pause there. What I noticed, you all notice how she cut her onion first. Hello, Leek and hello, Brandon. Um, I noticed she cut her onion and jalapeno first. So if you all want me to add some jalapeno, find the chili pepper emoji. This is what I got. I got the one in the jar. If you want me to add this to our guac, if not, that's fine. But if you want a little heat, put the chili pepper emoji in the chat. Now, if you notice when she was prepping here, and I have nothing prepared, we're going to do it all together. She cut her onion first and her jalapeno, and then she cut uh, her lime in half, and it's all prepped on the cutting board. And then she went into her guacamole. And I've learned that the hard way. Y'all, look at this. I just noticed something. How cute is this? Look at her paper towel dispenser. <laughs> I can relate. Look, it has no paper towels on it. I just noticed that looking at it. Uh, hello, Tan. Oh, gosh. I love that. None of us are perfect. We all start somewhere. Okay. So the point I'm trying to make is that because the avocado will oxidize, which just means, you know, the air will start to turn it brown, like apple and some of those other foods. You want to cut it up and then get using it up right away. So we're going to do our avocado last. I'm going to dice the onion and we'll cut our lime in half. And then we'll come back to this point on the recipe. Mallory wants the jalapenos. You got it. Oh, Mike says, thank you. Chelsea wants some jalapeno. Absolutely. Ah, oh, Mike says, thank you. Keep it up. I'll get back to work. Absolutely. I'm here every day, uh, whether you catch me live or the replay. You can put hashtag replay in the chat if you want. Y'all can multitask. Marie Marie is on the road. She's listening while driving. So you can watch without listening. You can listen without watching. You can do whatever works for you. All right. Absolutely. I'm trying to get my, y'all, it's a struggle. Uh, live, love, plan, pray says, I wish I loved guacamole like everyone else. I still eat it because I know it's good for me, but it's a struggle. Yeah, you know what? Food is so subjective and we like what we like. So I totally get it. If it's a texture thing, hey, you know what? Hopefully I'll make something that you do like. Live, love, plan, and pray. Tell me what do you like and I'll like keep that in mind. We'll make something just for you. All right, everyone. So let me wash my hands. Let's get our cutting board. Hello, Richie. Oh, goodness, I'm struggling, y'all. <laughs> Let me just take this down. All right. All right, it is what it is. Um, so let's dice our onion. If you look at the recipe, let's see here. All right, so she does have the recipe in the description. So you see it says two avocados, half of a small lime, a quarter of a small onion, and then garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and then you have your optional ingredients, okay? Hey, Erin, Laura, our Canadians are chiming in. Y'all, we are worldwide. We got Australia. Hello, real, excuse me. Hello, Rossi. We got Australia in the house. We got Germany in the house. We got Canada in the house. Everybody's here. All right, let's get cutting up. This big, beautiful cutting board is a gift from Victoria Kimuyu. She's in the chat. She gifted us this cutting board because I want, the one I had before was janky and not becoming. Hello, Ferris Bueller. Um, so this is a beautiful Pampered Chef acacia wood cutting board. I take great care of it and grease it up every time I wash it so it doesn't get ashy like my hands. And then I rub some of that in, <laughs> coconut oil. Ah, oh, Mallory says, I love guacamole, but I don't like avocados. How does that work? Can someone explain that to me? I think it's a texture thing. <laughs> Hello, Victor. Thank you so much for being here. I'm thirsty. I'm going to get a beverage. Yeah, the texture thing, yeah, it might be a little too chunky. Y'all know we like it thick and we like it chunky. I'm working on it, okay? They're already telling me in the comments. What do they say? I'm shaped like Humpty Dumpty. I know. I'm working on it. I've taken a lot of it off. I got a ways to go. <laughs> uh, Liv Love says, no need to do something special. Eh, it challenges me. Just happy to learn and support. Well, thank you, sweetheart. Okay. But if you change your mind, let me know. All right. So uh, we're going to cut up our onion. Let's get our 
chef's knife. Um, so the recipe says uh, a quarter of a small onion. So to me, this is a small onion. I'd say it's kind of like the size of the lime, right? They're kind of both small. So I'll go ahead and cut it in half. I like onion and you'll hear in the video, she says, if you like onion, do more. So I'll cut it in half and we'll dice up a quarter and see if that's enough, all right? A texture. Chelsea says, your husband loves ketchup, but not tomatoes. Marcus is the same way. What is that about? Maybe it's just the fresh vegetable. All right, hello, Ken. Let me turn it on the air, y'all. I'm old. And I got a big delivery of Walmart water so we can drink some of that. I did go to Starbucks today, so I'm gonna finish the rest of this, but just so y'all know, this is green tea with one pump of sugar-free vanilla and five Splenda. So I like it light and sweet. It's not proper etiquette to drink out of the disposable, but eh, we'll be all right. Okay, remember our hack for onions, we're gonna get a little container of water so that the fumes don't make us cry. So we learned that when you cut into an onion, there are fumes that look for the closest water source, usually your eyes. However, if we put some water right next to it and cut, it'll keep us from crying. All right, so I'm just gonna put some tap water in this. And then let's just go ahead and go in. I know you're not supposed to cut off the root. I do it anyway. Look, I'm not a proper chef. I'm not a proper YouTuber. I'm just a mom and a home cooker, and we make it work. If you got slicing and dicing skills with the best of them, please be my guest. Hello, Kojo. Hello, Ball. Thank you all so much for being here. Oh, all right, so just peeling off the papery skin, then we're going to give our onion a nice little chop. Let me clean this up. And then remember... I always try to teach you all. We always have new people. This side of the cutting board that has the grooves is the side. Get into the groove. Boy, you got to prove your love to me. I know. I know. Another outburst. You didn't ask for it. That's what I do here. Okay. So this side of the cutting board uh, with the groove is the one that collects, <laughs> collects the liquid. So if you're cutting tomatoes that your hub's doesn't like or you know chicken or anything that's runny raw I probably wouldn't do it on wood it'll pool up here so you can easily keep it from going onto the counter okay so that's what that's for the other side of the cutting board the flat side is um, <laughs> for stuff like this like onion y'all love the outburst I got a song in my heart I got a song in my bosom ah <sighs> Whitney says you mean ketchup does have added sugar to it so it tastes better than tomatoes unless Maybe in the boys' fridge. You can get no sugar added, sorry, ketchup. Let me check one more place. Oh. Get a little distracted, but you can buy Heinz makes a no sugar added ketchup. I keep this in the uh, house. You guys can find a lot of no sugar added versions of your favorite condiments. This one says sweetness from plants. Um, 
Hershey's makes a no sugar added chocolate syrup. Beverages and condiments are a huge source of added sugar. And I am your substitute teacher because I try very hard to be sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. And there is a lot of extra sugar added to stuff that's not even really supposed to be sweet. So you can cut a lot of calories by changing what you drink and what you put on your food. You may be able to eat a lot of the same foods. All right. Oh. You love tomatoes? Absolutely. No sugar ketchup. Yep, absolutely. And I use that kind of stuff. The kids, they don't even know. They reach for ketchup and they get the stuff that's no sugar added. Tastes like ketchup. Hello, Mr. Simplistic. All right. So with our onion, we peeled the skin off. And then to make it safe, we're going to cut in half so we get that flat surface area. So I just do one big hack down the middle. And then if you're new at cutting, this is how mom got me started by cutting vegetables. But you'll put the flat side down. The more surface area you have, the less it uh, moves around, and then that way it's safer when you're learning to cut, all right? So we're gonna put the flat side down, and then we are gonna dice this pretty fine. Even though I love onion, I don't want a big chunk of onion in my uh, guacamole. And so a dice is just a very small um, chop. So you can get it as small as you can. It's squeezing out of my fingers because I cut the root. Then we're just going to do a rocking motion and just get everything nice and cut up. <laughs> Hello, Handy. Thank you for being here. I'm just going to get everything nice and cut up so we have small chunks. And um, y'all can let me know if you think this is enough onion or if we should do more. And I'm going to cut up the portion that we're going to use in our guacamole and leave this intact. That way, if I want to do slivers for a steak or something like that, the whole thing isn't diced up already. And if you don't have time to prep your own veggies, you can buy them already cut up. It's going to cost you a little more, but if you have more money than time, you can do that. So we're just doing a rocking motion with the chef's knife, keeping our fingers out of the way and getting small pieces. All right. Hello, Sandra. I've been saying your name all wrong. Hello, hello Lady Navoa. Thank you for being here. All right, so we got our onion and y'all wanted jalapeno. So my spice lovers are in the house. So, oh my gosh, we got a new stream sponsor coming through with heavy hands. Friendsgiving is giving $25. Y'all just continue to bless me every time I come here because literally I'm just making what I want. I didn't think anybody was going to care. <sighs> I'm grateful. All I can say is I am so, so grateful. All of y'all coming here, keeping me company while I make dinner. What does Friendsgiving say? Get <laughs> Get up on your feet, boy, you got to be. What is the word? Get up on your feet. Yeah, step to the B, boy, what will it be? <laughs> yeah. Don't get me started, y'all. My etiquette classes are going to wear off. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for the $25. Don't encourage me, y'all. We will go down the rabbit hole. Let me get friends giving up on the board. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss Strong. But we have a new sponsor at $25. Again, if y'all want to support, there's the Cash App. You can scan that with your phone or just sit back and relax. Hi, Hendy. <laughs> thank you for the compliment. $25. Wowzers. Clearly, I didn't think this through when I decided to start writing on the micro board. Y'all are such a blessing to me. Friendsgiving usually watches the replay because she's our class night owl. But apparently, I struck a nerve and the uh, old Madonna is coming back, right? <laughs> At least the music. $25.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Friendsgiving. So grateful. <laughs> Y'all are dancing with me. Man, if I could play music without a copyright strike, oh, I would be jamming in here. Y'all know how I do. Let me know if you want to see my spirit animal. There's a lady on YouTube that I'm telling you, she has captured the essence of Maggie. Oh, dancing in the kitchen. I love it. Oh my gosh, Sandra sent a PayPal. Wait a, wait a cotton picking minute. Thank you for telling me. Let me look it up right now because we're going to add you to the board too. I missed it yesterday. And that's the other thing, y'all. Sometimes I miss stuff. If it doesn't uh, come through, like the cash app will come through the phone. I totally missed it. Maybe because I'm not signed in. <laughs> Enable notifications. That's a good thing. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Let's see. Sandra, thank you so much. You sent $20 yesterday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm gonna add Sandra up on the board and you will stay there because I missed you yesterday. And if you guys ever donate and I miss it, please let me know. Hello, Dizzle, hello, Maurice, hello, Rockwell. Yes, thank you, Sandra. I'm gonna put $20 right in here and I'm gonna put Sandra. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We got our onion. Y'all wanted jalapenos. How much jalapeno? I don't know. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Try to pretend like I'm a proper cooking show. Hello, Sarah. I've got these little glass bowls. They came with the tasty cookware. Y'all know the cookware that we use. So it came with these little dishes. So we'll put our um, ingredients in there. Act like we know what we're doing. Let's clean off our knife. All right. And then I got this little scraper. I think I got it at the dollar store. It says progressive. So we'll just use this to get our onion scraped up and out of the way. No tears. And then we'll mash everything together. So we're just doing our prep. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Sandra, you're on Facebook. I don't know if um, Facebook, there should be something underneath there that says, uh, thank you, Rockwell. Um, there should be something there that says, send stars to Maggie or something like that. But if not, you're welcome to come over to YouTube and there's a little dollar sign in the chat and that's how you do it. I can pull it up on the screen, but you are so generous to think of me. I appreciate it. All right, now y'all wanted jalapeno. You'll see in her recipe, she did fresh jalapeno. I don't have fresh. I don't really eat them like that, but y'all want them, so that's what we're gonna do. All right. Oof, opening the jar, I smell them already. Oh, suffering under this daggum apron. Okay, so <laughs> it looks like a lot to me but we'll make it work. All right. So since this is canned, I'm just going to run my knife through it and see if we can get this diced up. And again, the reason, especially with the guac, hello, Mac, the reason why with a guac or anything that should be homogenous, which just means you want a little bit of everything in every bite, okay? We don't want to bite into our guacamole and have big onion chunk. Maybe you like it thick and chunky like that, but I want it to be able to mix well. All right. So remember with the jalapenos, the spice is in the seeds. So if you take out the seeds or use like this jar kind, Fresh is best, but I don't have it today. All right. Then you can avoid some of the heat. If you like it even spicier, keep the seeds in. Hello, hello. <laughs> Live, love, play, and prices. The more spice, the better. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ah, Mallory says, since the jalapeno was in a jar, it's not as spicy as fresh jalapeno. Okay, so I'm safe. Good to know. Yeah, I should have put some on my order. She said it was optional, so I didn't order. 
And I do grocery order. I do have a discount code for you all if you want to give Instacart a try. Or if you like going to the grocery store, even better. So let's scrape this up. Get our jalapeno out of the way. Oh, that's our water. All right. So I wish it were fresh. It would look better. But we have our <clears throat> diced onion. Y'all can see fresh. And we have our diced jalapeno. Y'all can see this was in the jar. So we'll keep that here. And then the last thing, it is a half of the juice of a lime. And what did y'all tell me? To roll it? <laughs> um, hello, off the land. Hello, Phil. See, someone said microwave it. I'm rolling it on the counter. What did y'all say to get the most juice out of it? Like you roll it on the counter. Um, it's okay to me if it's not super, super juicy. <laughs> Chelsea says, I like thick and chunky everything. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Erin, Laura. Chelsea says, I know some places make guacamole not thick and I love mine thick. Yeah, we have a uh, Latin restaurant here in the Atlanta area. El Azteca. It's been so long since I've been out for Mexican. God, what I wouldn't do for some queso right now. Bad Maggie. Um, but yeah, you know those restaurants where they do the table side guacamole, where they do everything in front of you? Uh, Jess says tomato. I have fresh tomato. You can put tomato in your guac. I'm going to try and do her recipe, but if you all want, I'll put some tomato in there. I actually have some salsa too. But this is a three ingredient recipe and the three ingredients are avocado, onion, and lime juice. All right, so we'll keep the tomato on standby. It looks good on the screen for now. Okay, so let's toss this, hold on to the onion just in case we need that later. And then we're gonna cut our lime and then we're gonna continue where she is. All right. Let's just get our jalapeno off of here. Hello, True Vibes. Thank you for being here. And then we're ready to go to the avocado. And again, we're doing it in this order because if I had cut the avocado, it would be sitting here going, uh, getting brown while I'm doing all this stuff and talking to y'all and writing on the board. Let me rinse this off. And then we'll be ready to get to work. Okay, so let me take the sticker off and uh, let's go ahead and cut our lime. I don't really use a lot of lime. I do use lemon. I did buy a brand new lemon too, brand new, a fresh lemon. I'll just put it here because it looks good. Makes it pop, right? We're not putting lemon in there, but we like bright colors. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this in half. All right, so we have a beautiful lime. We need the juice of half of the lime. So I'll just, oh God, it smells so good. Just fresh citrus on your hands, on the cutting board, like, oh, love it. Okay, so we have our ingredients here, getting fancy. Chelsea says, nothing wrong with that. Jess says, does salt and pepper count as an ingredient? You're so cute. Y'all, please check out Jess, also part of the Mastermind. She has a channel. Oh, excuse me. Let me show you all the ingredients for anyone who just hopped on, and I did link this in the description. Two avocados, half of a small lime, lime, quarter of a small onion, and then garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and then, if you want, chopped cilantro, tomatoes, or jalapenos. And y'all ask for jalapeno. So if you want the tomato, I guess let me know. All right, so now we're ready for our avocado. All right, so let's see what she does. She's just uh, cutting them open. Hello, Blalix. Hello, G-Code. And let's pick up where we left off. We're ready to get into our avocado. Um, you could just use two avocados. That was the intention was to use two. And actually, that's what we'll end up doing. So... That way, you guys know it's two avocados. Okay, so now what you do is you just grab a fork and you start mashing. Very, very simple. You just want to make sure it's nicely mashed. There's no clumps. Okay, let's 
see how quick this is. And once we have this all mashed, we're gonna add the other ingredients. And like I said, if you wanna add tomato, if you wanna add cilantro, if you wanna add I wish I had any cilantro. other things into your wok, then you do it. Some people even add salsa, but this here is just a very, very simple, plain, plain Jane guacamole. Okay, okay, so let's pause there. We're going to do the same thing. Uh, I see Trevor in the house. Trevor says virtuous women still exist, and he's washing his hands of that. Thank you so much for the compliment. I appreciate that. So we do have tomato, if y'all want. Notice that she's using a plate, so I'm going to get a plate so we can do our mashing on that. We'll just use this plate. Um, once we get our avocado cut in half. Um, I wish I had cilantro, fresh cilantro. I don't have. I do have the herbs and then I also have this cilantro puree. If you guys want some cilantro, we can do that as well. But I just got the basics out. Hello, Flea. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so let's get into these avocado. So one of the things, oh, I know some of y'all said y'all don't love it. Um, and I'm really not supposed to have it just sparingly, but it is one of the good healthy fats. Mom uses this. It's kind of like a side dish in a lot of African cuisine too. They'll like, mom calls it avocado pear and then she'll cut it like into slices. And you know how you can just put it on your plate next to the sardines and the rice and the stews. So we're going to cut this up and mash it. And what I've heard, there's lots of way to check for ripeness. I'm kind of pressing on it and it gives just a little bit. You don't want it to be mushy and you don't want it to be rock hard, but also that little nub, that little stem, if you're able to easily <laughs> remove it, then your avocado is ready to go. All right. Just making sure it didn't fall into my ingredient. Oh, there it is. It's on the counter. I love my kitchen, but the counter, sometimes it's hard to see. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this in half long, long ways. And hopefully it looks good on the inside. Chelsea wants cilantro, tomato, onion, and jalapenos. Okay. Let me know if I need to do the fresh tomato, but I do have, y'all look, like this last little bit of picante sauce. I really wanted to throw this away, but I'm not cheap. I'm frugal and I didn't want to waste. So we'll put this upside down and let me know if that's enough to put in there. I was really trying to go for that green color, but let's see what we have so far. We have yard foods. Thank you so much for coming through, waving your hands. All right, so we're gonna cut down to the seed and then we're gonna go all the way around. I'm turning the avocado. Oh, not bad, all right. And so what she said is she just uses a spoon to scoop it out. So to get the seed out, usually I just kind of hack it with a chef's knife. And then once you're in there, you just kind of twist and it comes out. Okay, so I'm getting rid of the seed that way. Let's scoop this out. And to make guacamole, of course, you want your avocado to be ripe. You need it to be mashable by hand. Hello, is that junkyard? <laughs> Thank you. Let me get a big spoon. We can scoop that out. All right, so you all can see, I'm just going to try and separate a little bit the flesh from the, um, the avocado and I just make a little groove there and I just kind of stick my spoon. This is just a big tablespoon, kitchen spoon. And I just kind of go all the way in and kind of wiggle my way in and get up underneath there. And I'm greedy, so I kind of scrape up on the sides. I want all of it, all of it. So we got half of our avocado. So we'll put that there and then repeat it a few more times. And yes, I'm scraping the inside. She said two avocados, we don't want to waste. <laughs> All right, so we got half of one and let's do the other one. I want to eat it. Just by itself, if you like the texture, it's creamy, it's a neutral taste, but it's got a little earthy flavor to it. <clears throat> so savory, greedy. Get a clean spoon. So many things we can do with avocado. So many things we've done with avocado, y'all. I didn't know if I wanted to do the avocado toast. Just kind of making a little 
space in here for my spoon. I didn't know if I wanted to do avocado toast. I didn't know if I wanted to do, um, y'all know we've done the omelet with the avocado slices. We've done so much, so, so much. Y'all are gonna talk about me. I want scraping this thing. Oh. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm. I don't care if I have to use four spoons, y'all. <clears throat> it's just that little bit in the South. We call it the Kona. <laughs> Sorry. Chelsea says, use what you want. This is your food. I'm just enjoying the live. Perfect avocado, creamy, soft, mm. whatever I have a taste for. Once you want avocado toast, <laughs> stop reading my mind. Y'all, we're not wasting that. We got to get up in there, get it all. Have I told you that I'm greedy? All right. All right, let's do the last two. We'll put our tomato and uh, lemon in there. Oh, it's the little things, y'all. You know, it's just the little things. I have memories of that when mom was cooking. Hello, Rip Visitor. You know, she called me and my brother the greedy gong gongs. Now I know why. But um, just being a kid and being excited that good things are coming out of the kitchen, it's like we all still have those memories I don't care if you're a grown man. Y'all, we all get excited about a good meal, right? All right. I was about to say, where's my spoon? <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> or judge me. I really don't care. Hashtag Team Greedy. Y'all know me so well. I'm just kind of loosening up the skin on the outside. When I find a little pocket, that's where my spoon is going to go in. Absolutely. Look, y'all ever seen people like cook with stuff and there's still some goodness left like in the pot or in the pan and they want to toss it? We can't toss that. Look at that. We can't toss that. You kidding me? Shoot. All right, I'll try and be better. All right, so I got two spoons. So I'll use the other spoon to scrape it off. <laughs> I'm a mess. Oh my gosh. Chelsea says, I always scrape the sides of the avocado. I'm not alone. Nothing goes to waste. Team greedy, hashtag team greedy. Mallory wants the tomatoes. <laughs> team greedy for the win. Oh, I know. Team Greedy. Hello, Sophia. Exactly. Y'all know me and you love me and I'm not going to change. I'm old. Live, love, plan, pray says my OCD kicks in and nothing is going to waste in this house. Exactly. Exactly. Even though these came in a giveaway box, they were still free, but I stood in line for them. If you need to know the story, let me know. All right. So let's get our seed out. Comes out beautifully. Look. If I ever do cooking videos, y'all know these cooking shows where they show you the perfect chicken going in, the perfect chicken coming out. I cook live for y'all, so if it's good, you're going to know. If I mess up, you're going to know. But if y'all ever see me doing a cooking video, or if I get an editor to like take these two-hour live streams and make it the 11 minutes it's supposed to be, if I would stop talking, just know. I'm still eating the snacks, so whatever. <laughs> All right. <sighs> All right, last one, y'all. You know what? I'm going to put a little bit of salt. I'm so bad. So bad. One moment, please. Hello, Brian. Um, Whatever. Look, put a little salt in there. <laughs> Never mind me. Let's get up in there, scrape that up. So greedy. <laughs> and you wonder why I take etiquette classes. <laughs> All right, let me clean my hands, y'all. <gasps> Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay, class. And the next step, 
Hello, Joe. <laughs> All right, so she's just got a fork and she's mashing away. So we have four very smooth, creamy avocados, halves, whatever. <laughs> Friendsgiving says team greedy. Y'all know me and I'm not going to change. This is what I do. <laughs> greedy girl gang, <laughs> I love it. Cognizant says, hello, Maggie. I'm just joining, so miss your intro. Sorry, I'm making my own chips. Yep. So I am, I'm gonna show you all how to make really easy chips in the air fryer. You can choose. We have, I was planning on using my cassava tortillas, even though it's huge. And then I also have almond flour tortillas. Hello, why? Uh, but yes, I'm going to show you all how to make your own, a low carb. All right, so we get a fork and she's mashing away. So <sighs> my kids watch that stuff. It's like on YouTube, they call it, it's so satisfying or whatever, when they have that stuff like oozing out or whatever and, you know, open up stuff and it just, but this is kind of satisfying. So again, you want an avocado that is ripe enough. And I'm just using a little fork to get in here and just, I need the um, structure of the counter. Y'all know, memory foam, Maggie. I'm not holding that up in the air. I don't have muscles for that. Oh, I wanna jump in here and eat my way out. Greedy. Okay, looking good already. All right, so I'm just mashing it up. All right, so we got it all mashed. Oh, yeah, you know you want it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're a movement, a graceful and beautiful mess. Sabrina says, I do the same thing. Yes, y'all, I'm not gonna act like on YouTube, everything is beautiful. I look like who shot John anyway. So, hey, come on in, greedy girl gang. Chelsea says, I buy groceries and cook for five and you cut back where you can. That includes minimal food waste. Yes, I'm doing it for the environment. <laughs> hey, cook, how are you? Oh my gosh. Live, love, pray says, I don't trust those cooking shows. Yeah, y'all, it's too perfect, right? Exactly. Oh, that one won't come up. Just another mark says, you put uh, jalapeno avocado. Yet yeah, we have some jalapeno here. Mallory says, exactly. With inflation, we can't afford to waste. Exactly. 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 Okay, so let's continue. We've mashed up our avocado. Let's see what she does next. And you are going to see what I'm going to be using this recipe for in another video. You guys are going to get super excited. It's for a seven layer dip. So, um, you know, we're not going to add the cilantro in here. We're going to add it um, separately. So, hello, Howard. Once you have that hello, in there, Reese. then you get your onion. Okay. And again, you're just going to add, I just added a little chunk. If you love onion and you're so obsessed with it, then just add hello, a little Kojo. This is really to taste. And if hello, you don't aunt. like onion, then you just omit it. So, very simple. There is the onion. And now, this is just personal preference. I'm you, I'm adding a little bit of jalapenos, and I wanted to get it a little finely diced, okay, just so that we don't get big chunks of, you know, we don't want big chunks of jalapeno. Mm -hmm. I mean, Seven you, layer dip. Mm -hmm. You add it. But Sorry, y'all. I'm just gonna add. I would say like a tablespoon of jalapeno right in there. All right, so let's stop there and mix up the onion and the jalapeno. So yeah, she actually made a video and this is low carb love. I did put the link in the description. Anybody who's watching on IG or TikTok, you can come to Facebook or YouTube. Uh, she actually had a seven layer dip recipe. And usually y'all have seen me buy the little avocado tubs. There's nothing wrong with that. But I mean, guacamole tubs, but I figured I'd make my own. All right, so we have the onion that we chopped up. This is half of an onion. I like, oh, gosh. Sorry, y'all. I thought I put it on do not disturb. Let's see if it comes back. Okay, <laughs> phone call. Um, so this was a half of a small onion. It said a quarter of an onion, but I figured this was about the same size as the lime. So I'm going to put 
all of it in there unless y'all think that would be too much. So either half of it or all, what do you think? We'll start with half. We'll get a tablespoon out. I do like onion, but I know sometimes onion can be a little overpowering. So we'll put a little bit in and mix it in. And she also said a tablespoon of jalapeno. This is probably y'all like this spice. So we got a tablespoon of jalapeno. Plus y'all said it wasn't that spicy because uh, I got it from the jar. So only because I was out. I know I'm supposed to drink out of a glass. So let's, oh, so you all can see. And we're gonna mix this in and um, this will give it a taste. I know we have other stuff to go, but I feel like I want some more onion to kind of counter that creaminess. If you like less onion flavor because it can be very pungent, you can use red onion. I don't know if I have red onion. That one is a little bit milder if you like to eat it raw. I like the yellow and the white onion when they're cooked and sauteed down, but sometimes they can overpower. So I'm just really, really trying to mix that jalapeno and onion in here. And we'll give it a taste and see if it's got enough kick and then we'll keep going. So we've got that onion and that jalapeno mixed in there. Let's give it a little taste. I'm tasting for onion flavor just to see if it's enough or I want some more. Mm. I feel like I want some more. Okay, Whitney, no problem. We're here. Oh, thank you, real estate coaches. Whoa. I'm feeling the jalapeno. Hold on. <laughs> Hello, folks alert. Thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. Y'all said that jalapeno, it, it kind of sneaks up on you. I hope I don't regret this. We'll just do one scoop at a time. All right. Let's put some more onion in there. Woo! Y'all, that jalapeno. 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 There's a... um. Black Eyed, Bee song, Black Eyed Pea song. Is it called Jalapeno? Something like that. All right, so we'll give it one more taste and see how we're doing. Oh, Rayana says, do you have any tips with different taste buds throughout the family? I sometimes feel like I'm making three different meals a night. OMG, yes. Hello, Char. Hello, Patrick. So what I would do Assembly meals are going to be your friend, meaning build your own taco bar, build your own potato bar, build your own pizza. Even if you were doing guac like this, I would probably do the base, which is just like um, the avocado, a little onion, and maybe no jalapenos, right? We're just going to do the lime juice. This is where you get the kids involved, okay? So I got one. You like mushrooms, but you don't like tomatoes? Come on over here. And I used to have the boys in stations next to me. I'll have like, if we're doing pizzas, everybody gets your own crust or flatbread. We'll do the sauce. And then I'll have the toppings in little containers like this and they can make it themselves. But if people are picky, that's fine. But you can come in here and help make it your way, Burger King. So yes, I would do assembly meals. I'm not about cooking like a whole nother thing. If you don't want what we have, then y'all know how we were raised. You get what you get and you don't pitch a fit. But if there's toppings and stuff that you don't like, that's fine. That's fine. But um, find a base that everybody can enjoy and then bring the kids in to help create it themselves. Ah, Kia says, I hope that helps, sweetheart. Kia says, I used a red onion in mine. You'll have to try the yellow. Yeah, red onion would be nice because you'd have those little pops of red in here, but we're okay for now. Real Estate Coaches says, what are you filming this with? So I'm using StreamYard and I just have an iPad. If you want a picture of my setup, I'll show it to you. It's literally just me with my iPad here <laughs> and my iPhone here. All right, hope that helps. And I do have a StreamYard discount code for you um, or link. I just need to put it in there so you all can um, try it out for free. Um, and StreamYard is what casts it to YouTube and Facebook. Live, love, plan, pray says you right there. It's exhausting. Yeah, I know these kids, y'all. Ah, Trevor says, come to Jamaica. Jamaica, Jamaica. I've been five times. I love it. 
Love it. Yeah, I'm on. You have lots of avocados. I'm on my way. All right. I think we're ready for lime juice. Let's keep going. Add a lime. So this lime is very juicy. We're going to add the lime of half. Half of the juice of half of the wine. We will taste it. And if we need more, then we'll add a little more. Um, if you have onion salt, I'm going to add a little garlic Hello, powder. Hello, DJ. Hello, SP. She used onion salt, Remember, garlic we're powder. Using, this is now officially half of a lime. Okay. Okay. So let's pause there. We need to put in our lime juice. Oh, sorry. And then our seasonings. So we're making guacamole, a simple homemade guacamole. Let me get my lime juicer. Of course I could do it by hand, but you know when you got these gadgets, go, go gadget, Maggie, you feel like you wanna use them. So we rolled our lime. This one looks pretty juicy. Limes don't have seeds, interestingly enough, or maybe they do and they're just invisible. I don't know. Cut it in half. We're gonna put it in here and we're gonna squeeze it with my, <laughs> I'm gonna have to use two hands. <laughs> Squeeze it into the, <sighs> Ooh, the smell is so good. It's bright, it's citrusy. So we just wanna get, <sighs> I don't have muscles y'all. Okay, <sighs> trying to squeeze the whole thing, <clears throat> whole half. Ooh. All right, that's the best I can do. And then I don't toss this. If I'm going to make tea, I'll put this whole thing into my cup of tea and just refresh it over the day um, and just keep drinking on it. So we have half a lime juice. And it was pretty juicy. Y'all can see we got a lot of liquid in there. So we're going to mix that up. And then we're going to do sheeted onion salt and garlic powder. I think I have garlic salt and onion powder. So let's give it a little seasoning. Let's get it nice and creamy. I want to taste it right now, but let's get some seasoning. So I just mixed up the, um, the lime juice in there. All right, let's get our seasonings. I have garlic. We have garlic and where are you? Onion? There it is. Okay. So we have garlic powder and garlic salt. So the recipe calls for garlic powder, onion powder, and salt. I'm going to substitute and I'm going to use garlic salt. So since this already has salt in it, I'm going to omit uh, extra salt. Hello, Rhodamus. Hello, US Leek. Hello, Mystic. Hello, Bengali. <laughs> Sorry if I'm butchering y'all's names. All right, garlic salt. We'll put a little bit in here. You'll salt it to taste. I'm just gonna try and get some good coverage. A little bit and then taste it. And if you need more, do a little more. And then we're gonna do, that's garlic salt. We'll do some uh, onion powder. I already have some fresh onion in here. Uh oh, so we'll do a little onion powder. Excuse me, Sandra says, reminds me of an egg salad. Yes, absolutely. Mash up those eggs, that sounds yummy. Yeah, Rihanna says, husband loves spice. The oldest hates veggies. The baby wants sweets. Husband loves spice. Oldest hates veggies. The baby wants sweets. I'm thinking pizza with jalapenos for the husband. Meat lovers with the, uh, for the first kid but make sure you use a pasta sauce that's got a good vegetable base kind of hidden and blended inside. And then for the baby, I would do like a, um, like a barbecue pizza, like a barbecue chicken. Instead of red sauce, you could do barbecue sauce so they get that sweet taste. That might be something everybody can have it their way. All right, a little bit of garlic. I'm sorry, that was onion powder. Let's stir it up. It smells incredible. And we're going to taste. All right. Let's get a tasting spoon. Yeah. But sometimes it's like, hey, this is what's for dinner. 
That's how we were raised. Hello, Lyle. All right, let's get in here and taste a little bit. We got a nice creamy texture. Woo! I'm slightly mad at y'all about those jalapenos. It's giving it to me. But I am going to put a little bit of the cilantro puree. Y'all, this is excellent. I'm trying to think if I want to separate and do a portion just like this. But we'll do a little bit of cilantro puree because that jalapeno is kicking my... All right, cilantro. If you have fresh, even better. But I don't. So just like the garlic puree and the... Um, what's it called? What's the other one that I have? Garlic puree. And um, I forgot the other one, y'all. What is it? Ginger. Y'all can get these in the grocery store, the little pastes. If you don't have the fresh and you need it for a recipe, these are great little substitutes as well. I'm just gonna get this little foil off of here. Rihanna says, thank you. Yes, I tend to say either this or the leftovers from yesterday. Hey, look, at some point, these are your options. You get option, <laughs> option A or B. That's how we were raised. But now my mom is like, what do you want? You know, for the grandkids, they can get anything. She'll make like a whole smorgasbord. And they're like, mom, you should do it like Nana. Nana is retired. Y'all, I'm struggling. All right, I don't want to use the teeth, but. <laughs> I know, I know. It is not coming up. And I'll be like, we'll be here all day trying to get some cilantro. You can also use, um, what's it called? I have the cilantro. Um, um, where is it? In a pinch, you could use this. Maybe I'll sprinkle a little bit for a garnish, but... You know, the dried spices, it's just not the same. All right, so we finally got this open. Whitney says, good idea, Trevor. Did I miss something? Trevor says, gonna recommend that my wife subscribe to your channel. Thank you. I appreciate that. Is that a subliminal hint? Hello, Frontline. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so we're just gonna put a little bit of cilantro right in the middle. And we'll mix it up, see if we like it, and then mix it up some more. Oh, it's changing the color. Yeah, I'm going to separate this out. And then I'm going to do one with the salsa. But I do like the little specks in there. The color. All right. Let's give it a little taste. See if we get that brightness. If you don't like cilantro, just omit it. Mona says, congrats, Maggie, on hitting 7K. I'm telling you, y'all. Class, we are doing it. Thank you all, new or old. I appreciate you all. Let's taste for cilantro. Mmm. I want a little more. Ooh. Y'all in that daggum jalapeno. All right. A little more cilantro. And I'm going to go ahead and put the tomato in here to cool it off. This last little bit of salsa. I know. I'll scoop some out just so I have the integrity of the color. And then I'll mix it up. I like tomatoes. And then honestly, if it was really, really too spicy, we'll keep this for the picture. I like tomatoes. If it was really too spicy, I could cut the fresh tomato and put that in here. It'll cool it down, no problem. Like Nana said, we're not wimpy. It's gonna taste really yummy. Yes, let's get in here. That cilantro. But y'all see what we're doing here. Three ingredient guacamole, just onion, avocado, and lime juice. And that's what we did. Then taste as you go. Mom said we eat with all of our senses. T taste your food as you're going. Make sure you like it if you like a little bit of this or that. I'll just change the color a little bit, but I think it'll be perfect. If it needs a little bit more salt, we'll salt it up a little bit. Taste it a little. 
Oh yeah. Perfect. Mm. The tomato kind of brought that like that mildness. It brought the fire alarm down. Hello, Mark Easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guac is done. I'm going to squeeze a little bit more lime if I can. Okay. I can't. Let's put it in the container and I'm going to show you all how to make the chips and then we are done. All right. Really easy. So let's scrape this up in here. So good. If you're having like guests over or, you know, any type of sporting event, this could be a nice dish you could make. You could take the ingredients with you. A little garlic would be really good. You want some garlic paste? Why not? Just a little bit and we'll mix it up. We have a little garlic powder, but let's do a little garlic paste. And taste. Ooh. Oh yeah. It kind of brings it a little bit like not oniony strong, but you know, garlic has just got that unique kind of, I don't know, a little something. All right, let's get this in our little dish. Get it nice and y'all know, y'all already know. Don't judge me. These free ingredients are expensive. <laughs> All right. So we got a beautiful uh, avocado. Mm. Guacamole. So we got a little bit on the side. Clean up for presentation. And what I'll do is I'll sprinkle a little bit of cilantro on there. So we have the one without the tomato and just a little bit as a garnish. Let me show y'all how to make these chips. If you can eat regular tortilla chips, have some for me. There's a little bit of sprinkle on there. Team greedy all day, every day. Y'all know what it is. Okay. So our guac is done. Looking good. I feel like I, I don't want it to turn brown. So should I take a picture like right now? These chips won't take long. So hopefully we're okay. <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna turn the um, cutting board over. I'm gonna show you all how you can make your own tortilla chips. If you can have the chips out of the bag, have the chips out of the bag. All right. So you can buy lots of different grain-free tortillas, okay? This is a brand that I like, Siete. They have a lot of grain-free options. They have almond flour, chickpea flour. You can get flour tortillas if you can have them. Spinach, um, cassava, so many different options. So this is uh, an option. There's almond flour. And then this huge burrito, this grain-free is made from cassava. And cassava is a root vegetable, which has been approved for me. So I'm gonna take one of these. You don't need the huge, huge size, but that's what I got. Greedy. Oh, All right. So you get a tortilla. Now you can tell the difference between this and like a, a flour tortilla. You can see it's a little bit more, um, not as uh, soft and bendy. So you'll want to heat this up if you're going to want to roll it as a burrito. But how we're going to cook these, they'll be fine. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half, fold it in half, and fold it in half again. If you want really clean lines, you can use a pizza cutter and go in half, but I'm just going to do this. And then you see how it tears really easy at the crease, like literally. So that's why you want to heat it before you roll it up. All right, so we have that. And then I'm going to fold it in half again and just press down. So we have four big sections. Y'all have seen me use this for the sopapilla. Then I'm just going to fold it in half again. All right. So this is kind of big for nacho chips, but this is what we got. All right. So then 
to cook these, a lot of recipes, they will pan fry them, which is in the, the oil, but I'm not gonna pan fry them. We're gonna air fry them. So what we need is we need heat and we need oil. Hello, Dre, hello, Cyrus. So get the oil of your choice. It could be avocado oil. I'm gonna use this MCT oil. Not my favorite, but it's been approved for me. It's like a coconut based oil. It's not my favorite because it um, has a low smoke point. So I'm just gonna put a little dollop on each one then I'm gonna brush it. Uh, low smoke point just means that it will get smoky. And when you're using it on the skillet or on the stove top, it's just kind of like, Meh. but in the air fryer, I don't mind so much. All right. So I just put a little dollop on each one. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a brush and brush it in. And then turn it over and do the same thing. You wanna make sure that you have a good covering of oil. That's what's gonna give you the crispiness. And we're gonna put them in the air fryer, maybe like five minutes while we clean up. And then that's how we're gonna make our crispy nachos. So they will brown and they will um, crisp up in the air fryer, all right? If you don't want to use oil, you can use like cooking spray, whatever you like. I am not the food police. Y'all can do it your way, all right? So we've got one side nice and greased up. We're gonna turn the other side over and just make sure we got that <laughs> nice and sopped up. You could use your hands if you want to. Sometimes I'll just put it in my hands and uh, massage them over. All right, so we have our tortilla chips. So now we're ready to put these in the air fryer. So I have a little technique for that. And we'll do half at a time since it's pretty big. The air fryer is an oven with a fan. So if you put anything lightweight in there like bacon or these chips, they'll fly around and they'll get messed up. So my technique is to basically cook them between two racks. Hello, Mel Rose. Cook them between two racks so they don't flap around. So I'm just gonna take one and I'm gonna put these nacho chips in here. You can see what we're doing. We'll do, and I, I try not to overlap them because they'll stick together. All right, so that's enough for the first batch. All right, so you can see we have them all greased up and shiny. Then I'm gonna put it in the air fryer with this tray right over top so they can cook. And you notice kind of the pasty white color as they cook, they'll get brown and they'll get crispy. All right, so let's go ahead and put this in. So if I had done the smaller size, all of them would have fit on there, but I was greedy. Hello, highly blessed. All right, so our guacamole is looking good. Let's clean up, put all of our ingredients away. If y'all have any questions, feel free to put your questions there. This will take about five minutes and then we'll have our plate and I'll just move these behind for the second batch, but you all can make your own chips. And it's also really good for portion control as well. Uh, these cassava tortillas count as a vegetable for me. So I can take one of them and put like a breakfast ingredients in there or whatnot. Lots of different brands, but just want to give you all uh, some tips. So Siete, Whole Foods, Walmart, try the one that works for you. Ah, Live Love Pray says, not greedy to me, just smart and health conscious. I like it. All right, let's clean up. So we're going to put our pastes away again, giving you all some options. So you can do ginger paste, garlic paste, or cilantro paste. Again, if you have fresh, even better. But you guys can get these in the grocery store in the produce section. And you could put a little squeeze of this in your stews, in your guacamole, in whatever you need. All right. So you can, you can use ingredients like this too.
And I have the air fryer on 400, uh, which is the highest that it goes. Oh, I'm making a mess here. All right. Careful. <laughs> this is why you don't cook barefoot. I see so many cooking videos and people are like in flip flops and barefoot. Look, do what works for you, but kitchen safety, you know, if you ever knock anything over that sharp, it could be pretty dangerous. All right. So putting everything away. All right. So our seasonings away. We use onion powder, garlic powder, and a little cilantro. Uh, fresh if you can get it. Who do we have here, Shelby? Shelby, are you still single? Let us know. What's the update? We got to find Shelby a husband. Shelby is putting out her, uh, her bid to be wife ready. She says, hello, my lovely Maggie. Thank you for my rose, sweetheart. You would also like Bambi cassava patties. Now, I know about meat pies in Jamaica, but I haven't heard of Bambi. Let me know. Who do we have here? You all know him and you love him. Our class clown, Wilbert says, hello family. I'm gonna to behave today. Who believes that? Who's the current sponsor? Well, we have Friendsgiving at $25 and we have a sponsor of $20 from Sandra because she PayPal'd me yesterday and I missed it. All right, so we're making our tortilla chips. I'm just cleaning up. So, up. <coughs> Whitney says, hello. <coughs> yeah, y'all, them jalapenos. Whitney says, you might lose a toe. Exactly. Y'all saw me drop the knife. It's real. If you ever take proper like cooking classes, which I do for fun, kitchen safety is always like the first part of it. So you, you know, want to take it seriously. I've taught both boys how to cook. Y'all know I've been cooking since 1842. Mom had me in the kitchen and we always started with safety first. And, you know, being a boy mom and they're rough and tumble, we don't do that in the kitchen. If you're coming to cook, you're coming to cook. You're not walking away and doing other stuff. If you're not ready to commit to it, then you get what I'm making. Y'all are laughing at Wilbert. You already know. Yes, Friendsgiving is our sponsor, $25. All right, let's put this away. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm smelling the tortillas, uh, our nachos. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the other batch in here and just have them kind of off to the side. So when I get out the first batch, these will go in. Hello, uh, Mahoney, thank you so much for being here. So I'll just put them in. And the reason we have them cooked together, um, tight together is because they'll flap away. Hello, uh, the only, thank you for being here. Oh my gosh, y'all already know what happened. You already know. You already know. Ron Alexander coming through with the 199. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate you. Been so consistent. So, so generous. But y'all know what just came through. And he just said, I'm going to behave, right? Let me pull this up. I'm going to behave today. Who is the current sponsor? Our current sponsor is Friends Giving at $25. Wilbert just sent $25.01. So Wilbert has outbid Friends Giving by one penny. And uh, thank you, Friends Giving. This guacamole is brought to you by Wilbert. He has outbid you by one penny. Let me get Wilbert on the board. Sandra, I'm gonna keep you on the board at $20 because I missed you yesterday. Oh, these are looking good, y'all. Hold up. This is how I get to burn and stuff. Hold on, this is not doing what I needed to do. Oh. I 
the chips are sizzling. All right. Let's check on the chips. One second. See how it's smelling. Uh, see how they've already started to brown. So I'm going to take these out and put the other ones in. Whew, a little bit more done than I would like, but all right, let's put these a little lower. The heat source is at the top. Let's get Wilbur in with his $25 and one cent. Yes, thank you all for the like. <laughs> and so it begins. Hello, get money. Yes, the money wars. So $25 and one cent from Will Bert. And then Sandra, because I forgot you yesterday, $20 from Sandra. I missed hers yesterday. So our stream sponsor at $25 and one penny is the one who said he was going to behave. Yes, Petty Murphy has arrived. You all know him and you loved him. Yes, Wilbert is at it again. Mike says, let me get steel toe boots for the kitchen. Absolutely, y'all. Drop that knife, you lose a toe. I got boots on, so <laughs> we're good. Hello, El Nextro. Yep, y'all are laughing. Y'all know how he does. I'm going to behave, right? Mm hmm All right. Thank you, Wilbert. Let's watch the rest of her video, and then we're done. We'll get our chips out. Thank you all for liking the live stream. Aaron. Guys, take a look at this creaminess. And creaminess. Then just add some tomato cilantro, and you have yourself kind of like a block with pico. If you want it just as so and add some cilantro, then that's what you do. This is your block. You're going to eat it. So like I said, I'm going to be using this for another recipe, but I wanted to show you just in case you're making some tacos, you're making some tostadas, you want a really quick, quick What would y'all put this block oh, on? This Toast? You're love it. And that's me all day. Taste it. Perfect. So, you can also serve this with a salsa. I will link one of my most popular salsas down below. Serve your guac, your salsa, some chips. I'll link everything in the description so you guys can make a whole combo. Uh, All right, so we made the guac. Let's check on the chips. We're gonna bring the ones out that are already done. Don't just set it and forget it. We'll do like one more minute. Yes, Wilbert is petty. Uh, what does Aaron say? I just watched this whole stream while filming my stream, watching, reacting to something else. Wow, Aaron is really multitasking. He says, Maggie is the best and I'm so hungry now. Thank you. Cognizance is Maggie. I love Bambi. It's like a bread substitute made from ground cassava root in Jamaica. I got to look that up. Excellent gluten-free option to wheat flour. Oh, I'm sure we might have that here in Atlanta. Oh, put it on avocado toast with egg as a dip, low carb chips. Yes. All right. Speaking of chips. All right. So they cooled down. We got them a little bit um, done, but Y'all can see our homemade chips. I'll leave this one off to the side. Let's put that up underneath here. Let's get the other ones. All right. Let's check, make sure. I want to I wanna taste it so bad. I want to eat this one. Then this will be the one we take pictures of. We're almost done. Let's see how this is looking. Oh, yeah. Done. I want to stop it before it gets too, uh, too brown. Y'all remember what they look like when they went in there. Hello, 1979. Okay. So be very careful. They're hot. Do you see they cook from the outside in? Oh, let me turn off the air fryer. But y'all see, we have our own. Chips look great. Thank you. Just be careful because they're going to be hot. Turn that off. Even through the towel. Thanks. Okay. 
I'm gonna salt just a little bit on the chips while they're hot. I should have salted them just a little bit while they still have a little bit of that oil on there. All right, let's move this out of the way. Let's take our picture. Looks good. <laughs> Thank you, Sabrina. Oh my gosh. All right. So y'all see, I put, you could do some flaky salt, but, or, you know, if you like some black salt, something with a little bit of character, put a little salt on there. Yes, low carb snack. How about that? All right, so let me salt this one. And I almost feel like, should I put this in here? I don't want to be doing the most. Let's take just a picture just like this first. I'm so excited. Ah. All right. Spread them out. Make it look like we got more than we do. It's just one tortilla. But if you fold it in triangles like this, it makes you feel like you're really having, they have that kind of fried smell because they're greased up and air fried. Looks delicious. Cognizant sent 11 Canadian dollars. Thank you. She says, Maggie, got to go, but everything looks good. Have to finish watching my home team. The Raptors make the playoff. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. I'll see you tomorrow. We got trucker, trucker meals tomorrow. All right, y'all. So let's get a picture, one regular, and then I just turn it so we can, oh, yeah. Do a little bit of food styling. Take some with several angles, some with the flash, some without the flash. Oh, yeah, it looks so good. Thank you, it looks delicious. And let's do a quick video for the reel. Y'all know, like Aaron, I do my own everything. All right, let's make a quick little video and then we gotta taste it. We gotta taste it and we're done. All right, let's get the calm voice. All right, so tonight we made a very healthy low carb snack. We made our own guacamole with avocado, lime juice, onion, a little jalapeno, some onion powder, garlic salt, and cilantro paste. We made our own low carb tortillas, chips by oiling and air frying a cassava tortilla. Enjoy. All right, y'all ready? Mallory says it looks great. So let's get in there, let me see. I'm just thinking of food styling. Let me take one little picture like that, y'all. Forgive me. One of these days, I just want to get it like that. Really quick. You never know what's going to end up in the next cookbook. That looks so good. Oh, and then without the flash. Oh, yeah. Y'all see the, uh, I don't know if you can see the salt on the chips. All right, here we go. I feel so greedy. Notice how it's holding up its weight. We got our tortilla chips, we got our guac. It's not so sagging. Y'all ready for the crunch? Hello, uh, D-Scope. Ready? Ah! Mm. The creaminess, the crunch. Oh my gosh, okay. You already know, here's your final etiquette tip of the day. Do not, do not double dip. If you are sharing community food, proper etiquette would be to scoop out what you want onto your personal plate and then you eat from your personal plate. The only time it's acceptable to double dip is if you have your own. I'm gonna taste the one without the um, other stuff. If you have your own portion, Someone asked that in one of my etiquette sessions. You can absolutely double dip if you're not sharing, okay? That is okay. But never, 
You don't even eat out of the container if you're sharing. Team texture. Mmm, it's a winner. <laughs> yes, to the crunch. Rihanna said, we eat with our ears. Y'all, so good. Mm. It's a simple thing. Mm. Okay. So if you don't have tortilla chips and you have a flour tortilla, do the same thing. Hello, Wayne. We are done. Let me close with the commercial. Aaron says, hey, yeah, y'all, this is really, really yummy. Whitney says, let's dance. Shout. Oh, shake your body down to the ground. Let's dance. Oh, shake your body down to the ground. Oh my God, y'all, it's done. I'm going to jump in here and eat my way out. But I wanted to show y'all how you can make your own. You can make your own chips. Uh, if you don't have an air fryer, oil them and put them in the oven. With the oven, you don't need the top layer because there's no fan to blow them around. Mm. Chips and dip, chips and salsa, guac, taco salad. Mm. And they're really sturdy. So even if you loaded them up, you can see they're pretty sturdy. Even if you loaded them up with like meat and cheese, they can take it. Oh, Shade Star, you missed it. All right. Yes, thank you, Wayne. All right, everybody. Thank you all so much for being here, as always. And I mean this. You are the highlight of my day. I really, this is really my happy place. So we made our own guac. We made our own, um, what is it? Chips. You all can do this. Customize it the way that you want. Get the kids involved. Let them make it the way they want. <clears throat> so we talked about my course, course, cookbook, and community. So again, my course is available. If anybody wants to know how I got monetized so quickly on YouTube, you can preview my course for free. Usually it takes a year. I did it in four months. And I tell you my whole approach, including screenshots. In my course, you get lifetime access. It's $50. I've been told it's great for beginners. And when I say monetize, that means I actually earn income from my YouTube channel. So I thank you all so, so much for helping me to monetize my passion for food. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to eat and speak. Hello, 58. All right. So you can take a look at the course. If you or someone uh, you know might want to start a YouTube channel or you have a channel and you're not getting income from it. So that's the course. Cookbook. I do have a cookbook. Ho, oh, oh. Friendsgiving coming through at the end. Wilbert, I am sorry. Friendsgiving is taking her position back at $50. So I am going to update because Super Chats come to the front of the class and Friendsgiving has sent another $25 saying another yummy recipe. I hope everyone, including Wilbert, has a great night. Can y'all put the bomb in the chat or shots fired in the chat? I'm gonna get another bite. And let me put Friendsgiving back on the board. At $50. One moment, please. All right. Oh, oh, friends, giving. All right. Was that some shade, friends, giving? I don't know. All right. Hello, Memphis. So we talked about the course, the cookbook. I do have my cookbook. It's available for you all. Same link as the course. It's $20 with a $5 coupon. The coupon code is cookbook. You all voted on my best recipes. They're all in there with the recipe and a video of me making it. It is an immediate download. You can um, 
print it if you want. I've been told y'all want printed copies, so I'll be working on that with the new pictures coming. Let me know if y'all want to see the pictures. I did post them in the Patreon, and I'll be posting them in the memberships. So you all can pick which uh, pictures you want of me from the photo shoot. Um, so that is the cookbook. And then community. Whitney is laughing. Aaron says it's getting heated. Money wars. Hello, Bobby. Whitney's dropping bombs. Kia's dropping bombs. And then lastly, the community. You all see how I came in here. I'm a little tired. But you all see how I'm leaving overjoyed and just so happy. So thank you all so much. If you want to support, I do have a Patreon. You can look up Maggie, the substitute teacher. There's a $1 level and a $5 level for uh, intro to elegance. I know me, etiquette, <laughs> trust me. But uh, I share what I'm learning over there. Uh, we do meet twice a month. Um, and at the $5 level, I put the cookbook in there as a free download for you. Hello, Tom, Tom. And then also the community on YouTube is the Maggie membership starting at $5 a month to get early access and behind the scenes. Oh dear. <laughs> Y'all know who it is. Hello, <laughs> easy money. Y'all know him and you love him. None other than our other African brother, Thane Mithra has come out of the bushes. He says, Maggie gravy mix. I'm not a big gravy person, but if you want me to make a gravy, I will. I made a keto gravy before. Um, this is what we made tonight. We made our own guacamole and our own tortilla chips. So we made these in the air fryer. We mashed up everything and it is excellent. A little spicy for me, but I love it. Mallory's putting the bombs there. Whitney says, good night class, Maggie. Get some well-deserved rest. Thank you all. I really appreciate you all. I'm getting 500 subscribers a day. I don't even know how, and I don't even know who, but I appreciate you all so, so much. Hello, Raymond. Mallory says, good night. Aaron says, ooh, please. You want gravy? You want Maggie gravy? What would we put it on? I'll think about that. I, I've, I've done one before. We did a cauliflower, mashed cauliflower, and then made a gravy to go on it. So so if y'all want me to make that again, I will. Oh, he says Maggie gravy mix is a Kenyan spice. I'll have to look it up. Okay, so not American style gravy. I'll have to look that up. Okay, so I gotta look up the Bami and I gotta look up Maggie gravy. You're like the Maggie cubes, like the bouillon cubes. Hello, Eduardo. Well, thank you. Uh, you want meatloaf? Actually, I thought about meatloaf. I got something, meatloaf and gravy, okay. So we'll put that on the schedule for next week. Tomorrow and Friday, we have meals for our truckers. Shout out to the truckers, Marie Marie, anybody on the road out here trucking. Um, we are being sponsored by uh, Part Party of Max. What is it? All about the Max? I forget it, but y'all will see her and her logo tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna do meals for truckers for Thursday and Friday. So that's it, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate y'all so much. I'm going to take my plate and I'm going to eat. Let me go ahead and dismiss on TikTok. Thank you for being here. See y'all tomorrow. Class is dismissed. And then IG, thank you all for helping me grow. Please share. We're well over 7,000 on, on Instagram. My goal is to get to 10,000 on Instagram. Be very transparent with you all. I believe when you get to 10,000, then people can buy badges on Instagram during my live stream. So I'm over 7,000 now. Last month, I had 800. And now I'm over 7,000. So got a little bit of a viral video going around. But I appreciate it. Yes, have a wonderful evening. Good night. All right, Facebook. Oh, let me dismiss Instagram. Thank you all. Facebook and YouTube. I appreciate y'all so much. I will see you all tomorrow night for our trucker meals. All right, class is dismissed. Thank you all. You're welcome, Erin. Meatloaf next week. We'll do it. Good night, class.